snack, and Essie, plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. This is Nat, and I'm so excited because today we are going to draw Queen Poppy. Here are some of the colors I have picked out. And along with these colors, we're going to need a pencil and an eraser. Queen Poppy is so cool. And we're going to start off with her head, making sure we don't go to the very top because she has so much hair at the top. And then at the bottom, she's got her whole body. So let's go ahead and start with her face. For Poppy, we're going to go ahead and draw the best circle we can draw. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is just your pencil marks. Now let's go ahead and make a symmetric line through the middle in all directions and cut our Poppy head into four even pieces. Her eyes will be placed perfectly on the lower half, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and draw her big ears. Your pencil marks can be small and messy because we can always clean them up at the end once we get to the marker. Starting on this side, we're going to make a big whoosh and end up right underneath her ear. Same on this side, a little bit higher, even to this earlobe, and make a big whoosh, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and give her eyes a little pop and give her half crescent for her nose, the little dipple, and down here. Let's go ahead and do the same for the other side. And there. Big smiley mouth. with a falling bang right in front here going all the way to the other side we're going to add two big looking ears one and two does that look like Poppy's hair yet? this one might be a little tall and we can fix that in the end now let's give her ears a little swiggle and another swiggle. We're going to add a flower behind her ear, just like this. And some big spikes at the top of her head. Adding another flower right here. And make it all poofy. And she has another one right here. Now let's go ahead and finish out her mouth. Of course Queen Poppy is so happy. And on each side let's add a tooth. For her body we're going to add like a little potato on this end with a little finger and shoulders. And let's finish out her hair. More spikes. One there. This one can get closed off as well as this one. Now even though this doesn't look like much yet, it will. I promise. We're going to add more hair and just finish off Poppy's headpiece. The lowest one has more of a kind of arch and it's okay to make mistakes and change it up a little bit afterwards because you know what? This is just our pencil marks and we can fix this as we go. Now for Poppy's body, we're going to go ahead and make kind of a weird shaped T and connect her skirt just like this. She's got a leg on each side and we're going to complete her arms here. Okay, now let's tie together her headpiece and make just a line through on either side and finish off her hair like this. 
Poppy also has just a bigger poof in the front. So let's go ahead and add that now. And her hair is looking so much better. And we're going to connect her arms here and finish off her toes. Little hump, little hump, toe, toe. How many toes does a troll have? I think it's four. And a flat, flat toe. For her dress, we're going to draw in just lightly the design. Because we're going to go ahead at the end and fix that with a different color. Give Poppy the rest of her teeth, of course. And a little dot for her eye, as well as an eyelash. On this side, on this side, and her eyebrow. Okay, here is a rough sketch of what we have. This is really important now to take your black marker and go over the lines that you think are right to make your poppy look exactly like poppy should look. I'm going to use the thin side of my marker. So let's find the thinnest side. And now very carefully and nicely, we're going to paint our poppy. Poppy is looking pretty good, but there are so many pencil marks. Let's go ahead and erase any pencil marks that we have made. And now it's time to get drawing. We're going to use, I'm starting, I am starting with my pink and making her cheeks and adding my dark pink wherever Poppy needs it, like her hair. because it's going to fade into a lighter blue. Almost there, you guys. The last color is the green. Whoa. I think we did an amazing job together. It looks exactly like Poppy. You can use any markers you have at home and use this tactic. I've got my markers, my pencil, and my eraser. I hope you can create something fun and show me what you make. Poppy, you look amazing.